terms of portfolio activity, during the year we purchase Pernod Ricard in the spirit segment. This is an area where we believe there is going to be ongoing pricing power and premiumization over the medium term, and a company like Pernod should benefit from it. We also purchased Adyen and MasterCard, which we switched out of uh, Visa. And we uh, purchased Metler Toledo, which is a name in the healthcare space that we had previously. And we took the opportunity of a significant pullback in the share price to get back into a company that we like in terms of growth profile, as well as return on invested capital profile. We sold out of a couple of companies during the period, one being Kerry, as we were switching into Perno Ricard, and the other one being Dr. Martins on the basis that that company failed to execute on its momentum, not only in the US. One aspect to highlight in the portfolios here to date is artificial intelligence being an important area of focus by the market, given the outsized excitement that has come through from ChatGPT, but also NVIDIA's uh, very strong performance, both in Q1 and Q2 in terms of operational momentum. And what's pleasing for us uh, is that Global Portfolio Trust is very exposed to some of these names. NVIDIA is the largest position in the trust, but other companies have benefited, such as Microsoft and Adobe. Both of those are also very exposed to artificial intelligence. Elsewhere, our luxury good exposure has performed well in the first half of the year, notably companies like Ferrari, which continue to show strong operational momentum. In the construction space, Kingspan, despite uh, the sector being sensitive to interest rates and therefore facing strong headwinds, has actually come out with a positive profit warning, which highlights the company's uh, dominant position in the panel installation space and therefore its strong pricing power, which has helped create that strong operational momentum.